Hi, my name is Mrs. Stanley, and I'm just one of the instructors here at Antelope High School who teaches AP Language and Composition. As you prepare to register for your courses for next year, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the class to see if AP Language and Composition might be the right next English class for you. Now to start, it's a good idea to just talk about what the course actually is. AP Language and Composition is an advanced placement English course that's offered to students beginning in their junior year. It serves as your junior or senior year English requirement, and it can also give you college credit toward your entry-level English composition course at your two-year or four-year university. Now, when looking at the course, it's a good idea to think a little bit about what you might expect. Now, the class itself focuses on both analysis and writing in three different areas. The first area is in what we call rhetorical analysis. In rhetorical analysis, we spend time analyzing professional writings. In other words, we're analyzing how the writer's purpose is supported by the selected techniques and devices that they use within the selection. We'll also look at the concept of argument and study both structure and effective argument composition. Finally, we'll look at the idea of synthesis. As we're looking at synthesis, we're drawing on multiple resources to develop a clear and well-researched claim on a particular topic. Now, in looking at AP English, there are certain individuals who should seriously consider taking the course. You should consider taking AP English courses if you have a high B or better in your current 10th grade English course, if you find English to be an easy subject for you, if you have aspirations of going to a university for a four-year degree or higher, or if you're interested in a career that is related to the field. Now, oftentimes when we think about career fields that are related to English, we often just think about education. But realistically, there are a number of different fields that benefit from individuals with strong English skills. Those fields include communications, government, nonprofit work, philanthropy, business, high technology, the arts, health and human services, and even the law. If you're interested, therefore, in a career in any of these fields, you could really benefit from stronger skills in the area of English. Now, when you take AP coursework, there are a number of different skills that as a student, you acquire. One of the first is that you have the opportunity to engage in challenging rigor. You increase your time management and study skills. You also learn to tackle challenging issues and problems and grow natural study habits and skills along the way. You also have the chance to develop problem-solving skills that will incredibly benefit you as you enter into your college career. You also learn how to work intensely and overcome academic obstacles before you get to college. And you do that by acquiring new levels of confidence, understanding, and determination. Now, in addition to taking the course itself, there are a number of different on-campus supports that are available for you. The first begin with tutoring labs and workshops that provide directed supports for you as an AP student. We also provide study sessions and groups that are specifically designed for you as an AP language and composition student as you prepare to take the exam in the spring. We also have student teacher conferencing where you have the opportunity to sit down with your instructor to talk one on one about your progress within the course and to answer any additional questions that you may have about how to be additionally successful. We also have Titan 28 supports and opportunities for additional review sessions and conferencing. And we have the College Board website where we'll access this to access sample exam questions, course supports, and so much more. Now, even though we've talked a lot about the course itself and covered a lot of different components, I also recognize that you might still have additional questions. If you ever have any questions about the course, and if you're still not sure if it's something you should participate in, please see me in room L203 or you can email me at lstanley at rjuhsd.com.
www.thepowerofthenews.us. Thank you so much for your time. And once again, I hope to see you in AP Language and Composition next year.